I'm Lee Middleman. I'm a ceramic artist, and I'm a member of the Association of Clay and Glass Artists of California. And the association puts on the festival called the Palo Alto Clay and Glass Festival every year. This will be our 19th year, and this year it will be at Rinconada Park, which is across the street from the Palo Alto Arts Center where we normally have the festival. The festival is on July 9th and 10th. That's Saturday and Sunday, and it starts at 10 a.m. and runs till 5. It's an open-air festival. Admission is free. There's plenty of parking. We even have valet parking. At the festival, you'll see about 150 to 170 clay and glass artists. You'll see every kind of imaginable work. You'll see things like tableware and small miniature things to very large sculptures. We'll be demonstrating both in clay and glass. Uh, for clay, we'll be doing hand building as well as wheel thrown work. And for glass, we'll be doing some lamp work, which means using a little torch with rods of, of glass to create little sculptures. There are two websites that you can visit to learn more about the festival. The one is our main uh, website, which is acga.net. And then there's a festival website that's called clayglassfestival.com, which is focused only on the festival. But both of them will show you some of the art and give you the details on the show. Most of my work is wheel thrown, so I begin by throwing a basic form on the wheel and then I'll hand texture the piece. We fire it in the kiln, and bit, we call it bisque firing to low temperature, and I glaze it, and quite often I glaze spraying, uh, and then finally goes into the kiln for the final firing at high temperature. I get a lot of my inspiration uh, from Asia. I have visitors who come here from uh, Korea and China and Japan to work with me, and I'm always interested in looking at their style and their shape. I spend as much as uh, eight weeks uh, in Asia each year working in ceramics. One of the glazes I like to work with is Celadon. Celadon is an Asian glaze uh, developed originally by the Chinese and the Koreans, carried to a very high level. And what I like about the Celadon is that it, it has a lot of depth to it and it tends to pick up all the, the details. A lot of my work is heavily textured. Quite often it's textured like this piece here. Uh, before it was actually shaped. So I threw a cylinder, and I textured it, and then I expanded into its final shape. And I call this a sunflower because it looks like the uh, po seed pot of a sunflower after all the petals have fallen off. My name is Helen Willoughby Peck, and I have pursued my dream as a glass artist. I was desperate to get out of uh, my professional career as a human resources director and wanted to live a less stressful life and I resigned and my husband retired and we moved to the Sierra foothills just outside of Yosemite. I use a process uh, called an aperture pour. The creative process that I use in an aperture pour or a pot melt involves uh, selecting glass colors. I cut those pieces up and I put them in a terracotta flower pot and I put that pot on a bridge in my kiln so that when the glass is heated or when the kiln is turned on the glass gets hot and pours through, melts through the bottom of the pot, through the hole in the pot and comes out as a disc on the floor of the kiln. I then cut those pieces up, cut it out on a ring saw and then I'll use those cut out pieces as components for a larger piece so I'll start building a frame around it and once that's all measured and laid out as though it were a puzzle, I'll then stick that in the kiln and fire it again, and that makes all those pieces melt together so it becomes one solid piece. It comes out flat, and at that point I grind it on a flatbed grinder around the edges so that I have nice clean lines, and then I put it over a ceramic mold and fire it again just enough so that the glass gets soft and falls into the shape of the mold. What I love about my work is the translucence of the glass, the bold colors and the ability to see through the glass when light is placed behind it. I'm Liz Burkhouse. I'm a ceramic artist. I find that there's a wealth of uh, chicken-related puns in the English language, a lot of humor around chickens. I went to college and I got a degree and I got another degree and the bubble hit and uh, I found myself without a job. But looking back on it was not a bad thing. I try to 
make sure that my pieces are really clean and that they have really bright colors, that they tell the story really clearly. So once I get an idea, I sit down with a sketch pad and I sketch it out. So I create a uh, newspaper and tape form of the chicken. I wrap the form uh, with the clay. And I take a knife and I'll cut the uh, clay and I'll peel it off. This is how you make a chicken sandwich. You start with the plate, you slap on a piece of bread, put the chicken in there with a little bit of slip after you score the bread. Uh, then I'll add uh, pieces of uh, onions and tomatoes and some uh, uh, pickles maybe and maybe uh, an olive or two, olive slice or two. Uh, then when it's all uh, looking good, piece of bread on top, I'll take a bamboo skewer and stick it right in the, uh, the chicken's stomach, which is why he has that expression on his face. The last thing I do is add the chicken legs. When people look at my work, uh, they laugh, and I really like that.